Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about dupes, high end, and I guess cheaper alternatives. So if you guys are interested in seeing a bunch of makeup products that can save you money, please keep watching. This is the Benefit Professional Primer and this is the Maybelline Baby Skin. They're definitely not dupes right when you come out of the tube, but they do serve the same purpose. They're silicone based and they slide right on the skin. Super great. This one is $44. This is the big size and this one is seven. Next I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Mine is the color correcting blend, but they also have a clear blend that is actually the exact dupe for this LA Girl Pro Prep Primer. Now this is also like kind of silicone based, those are just the primers that I like, which are the things that I found in my collection, but these are really, really great for any photos being taken to put underneath your foundation. This one is 36 and the LA Girl is $6. Now moving on to foundations, next up I have my Makeup Forever HD foundation and my L'Oreal True Match liquid foundation. This one is 43 and this one is 10 and these are not color dupes for each other just because I kind of go up and down with my tans but um, the formula is almost exactly the same. I would say this one's a little thicker but they both do the job really well. Next I have my MAC Studio Fix Fluid and this one is the Fit Me by Maybelline. This one's a little more matte but they are thick in consistency. I really really like these foundations, both of them. They're both medium to full coverage and they both do the job really really good. This one is 27 and this one is like 6 to 7 ish dollars. This is my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation and the dupe that I found for it is my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. They're both obviously matte formulas and they're so 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 good. This one is $39 and this one is around $11 to $12 and again they're not color dupes but the formulas are almost identical. I love them both. Now moving on to concealers, I have my V1 concealer by Napoleon Purtis which is $39 and I also have my NYX Dark Circle eraser. This one's around $6 I believe. The colors aren't exact but that's okay because these are actually used to remove dark circles underneath the eyes and I really really like them both but I actually prefer the NYX one. This NYX concealer will come as no surprise to anybody but this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have mine in vanilla and this one is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this one is in 10 light. This one is around $29 and this one is seven, so you can't beat it. The formulas are almost exactly the same. The one thing I will say about the Maybelline Fit Me is I feel like they don't go very light. This is the lightest shade and it's still a lot darker than vanilla. So. Now I have my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and for the dupe, I grabbed my Airspun Powder. Now for this one, I do have to vouch for Laura Mercier because this one is not a lot better, but I do like this. It keeps me a little bit longer. But the one thing is, this one is $37, and this one is about $8, but you get almost double, or more than double, in this one. I like them both for setting underneath the eye, but I do prefer the Laura Mercier. Alright, so next up I have some face setting powder, and of course I had to mention my Holy Grail MAC Studio Fix Powder. This one is around $27, and um, the dupe that I found for it is actually a really, really, really good dupe. It's the BH Cosmetics Studio Finish Powder, and they're always having sales on their website, but I looked it up today, and um, each powder is $5.50. I use these to set my face and also to bronze, which you can see my face powder and then my bronzer. And I actually have been using these ones a lot and I really, really, really do like them. So this is an amazing, amazing dupe, formula and everything. I love them both. But if you want to save yourself some money, definitely go with the BH Cosmetics. This one is Margin by MAC and it runs $22 and this one is Rose Dioro by Milani Cosmetics, it's their Baked Blush Collection and this one's around $8-ish depending on where you buy it. It's definitely not a color dupe but the formulas are almost exactly the same. They're both really good blushes but if you want to save yourself some money, go with Milani. Now I have some illuminators for you. This one is a Stila All Over liquid luminizer in kitten and this one is the NYX Born to Glow liquid illuminator in sunbeam. Now I don't know if these are color dupe to be exactly the same but the formulas are 
very much similar and they do about the same thing. Just bring a little, little liquid shimmer to your face. They're both so pretty and you can't go wrong with either one of them. This one is $20 and this one is like seven to eight. So I would definitely go with NYX if you're trying to save yourself. Next, I'm duping one of the most popular eyeshadow bases. And of course you guessed it, this is Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. The dupe that I found for it is the NYX eyeshadow base. I have mine in ESB03. These are definitely not color dupes, as you can see, but they do serve the same exact purpose. The NYX products are really, really good. Um, I really do like this eyeshadow base. It works really, really well. Obviously, both work even more amazing if you set them with powder. For this next dupe, it actually can be used as an eyeshadow and a highlight. This is the MAC Loose Pigment in Vanilla, which is $22, and the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow in ice latte this one is about eight dollars now the colors aren't exactly the same but for all of the loose pigments and all of the infallible eyeshadows it's about the same formula these are a little powdery this one's kind of pressed into the package but I actually really like these ones these are very very pigmented this is a naked three palette and this next palette that I found the dupe for it's not an exact dupe but it is a good alternative if you don't want to pay the $54 for this one this is the wet n wild studio eyeshadow palette and this one is called coming in latte now as you can see the colors aren't exact but they do have the almost the same range. This one's actually a little better because it comes with a black. They both come with brushes. I don't have my naked brush in here because I keep it with my brush collection. But um, this one is double ended just like the naked palette. And this one is $6.99. So $54 compared to $6.99. You can't pass up on this. These are somewhat pigmented. Obviously not as good as the Urban Decay. But you can't beat the price. So I would say go for it if you're looking for something a little more affordable. For this next dupe. I decided to pull out some of my eyeliners from my collection and this is Black Track by MAC. It's just a fluid line. And this one is the L'Oreal Infallible Cream Eyeliner and this one is Black is Black. This one actually comes with a brush and it ends up being around $10. This one is $16.50. Serves the exact same purpose. Definitely black, black, black. These are really, really dark eyeliners. I like them both, but price-wise, I would always go with this one because I feel like it's the same exact formula as MAC. And you can save yourself like $6 or $7 with this one. This next one is always, always talked about, but I had to bring it up because just in case one of you guys didn't know about it, this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is probably the best brow product like on the market right now. In my opinion, it's my favorite, but I did find a dupe for it, and this is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. The colors in the range aren't exactly the same, but what's good is you can kind of find which one works for you. They both have a spoolie and the product on each end, which is really convenient when you're doing your eyebrows. Anastasia runs about $21 and this one is around $10. So you can save almost more than half on the NYX one. I will say you have to use a tiny, tiny bit more pressure with NYX than you do Anastasia, but they're both really good products. I would recommend either one of them. Now I have some brow gels for you. This is Anastasia's Clear Brow Gel and this runs about $22. And then I have my Milani Clear Brow Gel. This one is around $5. This one you get almost double the product you do in this, but even if you doubled the price of this one, it would not equal this one. I will say that the Milani is a little more comfortable on your eyebrows because this one kind of gets stiff but it's not something that I mind because it sets my brow hairs in place. So it just depends on your preference. I really like both of them. This lip liner is the Napoleon Purtis Lip Liner in Nude Awakening. And for the dupe, I found my NYX Natural Lip Liner. They're not exactly, exactly the same, but I do like them both because they're around the same color as my lips and I can overline with these so easy. Um, I actually prefer the color of the NYX, but I do like the formula of the Napoleon Purtis. Napoleon Purtis is 20, NYX is around like three to four dollars. You can't beat the price. Now on to some lipstick dupes. I found so many dupes for you, a lot of MAC lipsticks. So first up we have Honey Love by MAC. This is my all time favorite nude of any lipstick and it is a matte formula. So the dupe that I found for it is my Milani Lipstick in Innocence. This one is also a matte formula. I would say it's a tad bit creamier than the MAC. This one is $17, this one is around $5. You cannot beat the price. It's not an exact color dupe, 
but Milani has a good range of colors that you can go looking for and find your right shade. I love them both, but I think I've been using my Milani one more recently. So, so next I have my MAC lipstick in Media, and the dupe that I found for it is my Milani lipstick in Black Cherry. $17. $5, both the same formula, the exact same color, go for Milani if you are going to go for something cheaper because they're both so pretty. This is my MAC lipstick in Smoked Purple and the dupe that I found for it is actually a huge, 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 huge savings. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lip Color in, in Vamp It Up. Now this one is less than $2 and this one is $17 the exact same color I feel like it's the exact same formula and this one lasts just as long as my lips as this one and this is just a really 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 pretty dark 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 purple lipstick lastly for Mac lipsticks I have my diva this is a really 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 popular matte color just like a matte dark maroon red it's so pretty but I did find an exact dupe and this is another wet n wild long-lasting lip color this one's less than two dollars seventeen dollars they're the exact same color and formula so 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 pretty for fall I love them both next up I have a MAC liquid lipstick this is their new um, what do they call them? The Retro Matte Lip Colors. This one is in High Drama, and the dupe that I found for it is my LA Girl Flat Finish Pigment Gloss. This is a liquid lipstick. I don't know why they call it that, but this one is in Backstage. It's seriously an exact dupe. I will say the MAC one is a tad bit more hydrating, but this one is a little bit more pigmented. Same color, same result, so pretty. If you don't have this one or couldn't get your hands on it yet, I would definitely go for the LA Girl. This one is $4 and this one is $20. Last for the lipsticks is one of my favorite dupes that I found. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This one I got in a holiday collection, so it is the small version, but um, the regular version is $24. And the dupe that I found for it is actually the Milani Lip Cream in Crush. It's also a liquid lipstick. I don't know if they're selling these still, but if not, then you're going to have to go buy this one. This one's around $8. This one was $24, like I said. It's a dupe on the exact color. I love these Milani lip creams. I really hope that they bring them back out in more shades. Ugh, these are like my favorite liquid lipsticks of any low-end liquid lipstick. It's so pretty. Okay, so last up for makeup, I have some setting sprays here for you. This is the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. It has four ounces and it is around $30. And the dupe that I found for it is the Wet n Wild Focus Setting Spray. And this one has 1.5 ounces, but it's $5. So even in the long run, if you go buy four of these, you're still saving yourself the money of buying one of these. This is a really good setting spray. Obviously, I'm going to be honest, it's not near as good as this. But I do use this a lot. This is more for special occasions or something that I need my makeup to last all day long. If I'm just running errands or, or going out for a couple hours, I will use this Wet n Wild one. Now, this next dupe I don't know if I'll ever jump on the entire bandwagon with everyone else but I'm sharing it because there might be some of you that will this is my beauty blender sponge it's $20 and the dupe that I found for it is the real technique sponge for around $5 I love both of these for different reasons this one I use every single day and this one I use every single day I could not get rid of either one of them but if you are looking for a sponge that you want to get damp and you can't commit to the $20 that Beauty Blender charges. Just try this one out first. They're both so, so, so amazing. I love this one for my concealer because it has like that really sharp edge to help you blend that out. And this one I use for my foundation a lot or sometimes for my concealer. There are tons of brush dupes out there, but I just chose three of my favorites. I believe that these three brushes are the essentials to make any eye makeup look. So first up, I'm gonna start with the infamous MAC 217. This one obviously is a little more dense blending brush, um, definitely something that you need in your collection. But I found a dupe for it, and this is the Morphe M433. This one's 25, this one is 599. You can get almost five of these brushes for the price of one. If you think of it like that, it's crazy. They do the exact same job. There is no reason to go out and buy a MAC brush. So just stick with Morphe, they're amazing. Next, I have my MAC 224, just a really fluffy blending brush. This is great for transition shades and blending out um, any eye look. 
The dupe that I found for it is the Delium Tools 785. They're seriously the exact same brush, do the exact same thing. This one's 32 and this one is 850. Like I said, not worth it. Don't buy it. Just go with this one. So much better and so much cheaper. Lastly, I have another MAC brush for you. This one is the 239. Mine is a special edition brush because I got it in a brush collection. I have the regular one somewhere, but I couldn't find it. But I did want to share this dupe with you because I do think that you need this brush. This one is $25. The dupe that I found for it is the Delium Tools 773. And like I said, it's the exact same brush. Flat shader, stiff bristles. You need this brush. But do not go spend $25 on this little teeny tiny brush. Alright, that's it for my dupe video. I know it's kind of long, but if you stuck with me through it, I love you for that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in the next girly ass vlog. Bye.